how to defeating the king's flame boss, Uko. Uko was one of the main bosses in the game Lies of P. He is located in the Venigni factory control room. Here's how to prepare for and handle the battle. Preparing for the fight. Before entering the arena, there is a summoning call at the entrance that allows you to summon a spirit to aid you in battle. Make sure you have enough Stardust Fragments to summon. In the second phase, Fuko applies the Overheating status. Equip yourself with Attribute Cleansing Vial and Attribute Resistance Vial to remove the negative effect. Fuko Phase 1. The first phase of the battle with Fuoko is not overly challenging. Although his attacks are relatively slow, it's still important to learn how to defend against them. Fist strike. Fuoko raises his fist to slam it down on you after a moment. You can use a perfect guard to deflect the attack or sidestep to the right. Half turn attack. Fulco plants his fist into the ground and then performs one or three half-turn attacks. During the triple attack, he also starts to move. Keep in mind that he can attack from both the front and back, so be cautious when you're behind him. Bottom up attack. Fulco pulls back his fist and then executes a strike from below, attempting to crush you. If you notice this attack quickly enough, you'll have time to step back. Kick preparation. Fuko prepares a kick similar to the half-turn attack. After planting his fist on the ground, he leans on it and then uses his left leg to perform a kick. It doesn't have a large range, so you should be able to easily step back from the boss. Charging attacks. Fuko has two charging attacks. In the first, he raises his fist and starts to spin it, then charges towards you. This is by far the easiest attack to avoid. Just run a bit to the right and the boss will miss you. If you immediately run behind him, you'll be able to easily land a few attacks. In the second charge, Foco raises his fist overhead and starts charging towards you. If you're a bit further from him, simply start running backwards. However, if you're standing right next to him, start dodging to the right and the attack shouldn't hit you. Fuko phase two. When you reduce the boss's health to about half, he will enter his second phase. You'll recognize this by the animation where he opens his fire tank and brings his arm with a cannon to it. Shortly after, the fire expands and then spills out in a large area around him. Fuko also gains a set of additional attacks. When you see Fuko enter his second phase or prepare the fiery attack again, run away from him as far as you can. The spilled fire has a very large range, and if it touches you, you'll become overheated receiving continuous damage for several seconds. However, if you don't manage to run away in time, use an attribute cleansing vial as quickly as possible to remove the negative effect. In this stage of the fight, it's essential to, after avoiding the fiery attack, close the distance as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you expose yourself to hard to avoid continuous ranged attacks. Fiery projectiles. Fuoko shoots several fiery projectiles at you. You can deflect them with a perfect guard, but if you fail, the overheating meter will start to increase. Flamethrower. This is another new attack. Fuoko prepares his cannon, and after a moment, he shoots a continuous stream of fire, moving it from side to side. If you have the opportunity, Try to approach him before he fires. Otherwise, step back to a safe distance. Oil attack. Fulco shoots several oily stains. While the projectiles themselves don't deal damage, if a fiery projectile or flamethrower hits one of the stains, it will explode, causing damage and applying the overheating effect.